In a previous video, I demonstrated how to use hardware in the loop simulation for your APM 2.5 with Mission Planner and X-Plane for both stabilized and RTL mode. So this video is the next logical extension of that to uh, plan a mission and toggle into auto mode and watch X-Plane follow the mission. As you can see, I'm in the flight plan screen and let me just show you uh, we have no waypoints yet, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. The X-Plane demo defaults to the Seattle airport, so you can see our home location. And I'm going to keep the mission simple, so I'm going to put a waypoint here at the end of the runway. Then we'll go over here, and then maybe end up right here. The next thing we're going to do, we're connected to our APM via USB, and I'm going to write the waypoints to our board so that was nice and easy now we'll go over to our simulation screen and we want to make sure we have the proper settings so we have X-Plane using X-Plane 10 and now we'll go ahead and launch X-Plane and start the simulation link okay now we're in X-Plane I hit the P key to pause it. Now, if you are not sure how to configure X-Plane and Mission Planner to communicate to each other, I've posted a previous video and I'll put a link in the description uh, just so you have a reference. We're going to go back to Mission Planner and we're going to start our sim link. And we can see there's data here. We're going to take off in manual mode and then we're going to, if you notice that if I toggle my gear switch, we're now in auto mode. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle back to manual mode and you'll see that we'll take off from right here and then we'll toggle into our mission. Okay, so I'm in manual mode and you'll notice that the brakes are on. I'm going to hit the B key to turn the brakes off and then we're going to give it some throttle. I have my Turner G9X right here that I'm using to control the plane with. Okay. Now we're airborne. You can see that we're right here. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle into auto mode and then we'll watch APM take over. Now I'm going to use my gear switch. Okay, now the plane is flying itself and we're toggled into auto mode. As you can see here, we're in auto mode and it's telling you we're going to go to waypoint number one. You can see here we are on X-Plane. Let's take a look at our flight plan screen. And now you can see that we're headed directly towards waypoint number one. It's cool because if you look at X-Plane, you can see down there the end of the runway, and that matches up directly with what we see there. Let me go ahead and accidentally put that waypoint in there. Let's delete that. And so now what we should see in just a second as we get right over this waypoint, the autopilot will start to bank and go to waypoint number two. And let's watch that from within X-Plane. And there we go. I'm sure it's apparent, but I'm not touching my transmitter at all. And here we are, headed through waypoint number two, turning right. And then it's going to take us to our final waypoint, which will be waypoint number three up here. And now you can see we're headed to waypoint number three. And now after waypoint number three, what the APM plane does, is since there's no land command, it will head back home and loiter around the home waypoint. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and toggle back into manual mode, which I'll do right now. and we can bring it in for a landing. So that was a demonstration of using Mission Planner and X-Plane with hardware in the loop simulation and setting up a waypoint mission. In the next video, I plan on experimenting with auto takeoff and auto land mode. So hopefully just with a toggle of a switch and hardware in the loop simulation, we can do a full mission with an X-Plane. I hope that was useful and I'll continue to play around with this. I've been having a lot of fun with it and I hope you have too. 
And until next time, thanks for watching.